everyone, this is Mac Media Presents with um, our first video review for Onrush from Codemasters. Um, so what is Onrush? Basically Onrush is a team based racing game where um, they get 12 players split down to two teams of six and they basically pit them all in different combat racing. Um, so. As you can tell from this footage, I am not the best with racing games. Um, yeah, I. In fact, I wasn't even originally supposed to be reviewing this one. I did originally get for uh, a friend to re to review while I have my gaming website, but I'm kind of glad that I did because it is a really, really fun game. Pretty addictive, I've got to say. I think I started playing it, and I think I was playing it for a good three hours. Um, I couldn't stop. So basically with the game there is four different modes. Um, well four different types of racing. There is uh, overdrive which is the basic one where you have to constantly attack your enemies, build up boosts and um, then ram your enemies off, perform sick tricks. And you basically have to do this to show your coolness and raise up your score meter to beat the other opponents. Um, there is Countdown, which is basically a checkpoint race, where you just have to keep racing through the checkpoints to build up time so that you can beat the other enemy's timer. There is Lockdown, which is like a King of the Hill mode. Um, I don't really know how else to explain that. I mean, it was a very unique uh, racing style, that one, but that's pretty much all I could say about that one, to be fair. And then there was Switch, which I liked because it kind of gave you like three different lives to keep trying to win the race, or at least, you know, beat the other opponents. Um, the game draws a lot of similarities to games like Motorstorm, I'd say, um, which is a good thing because Motorstorm is a fantastic series. Um, probably one of my favourite racing games of all time, to be fair. But, um, you can clearly tell that Corp Masters have just had a blast doing this one, compared to uh, obvious games like the Formula One games, where they're just kind of like driving simulators. Um, this one is more off the road, fun combat racing, which, to be fair, is my favourite type of racing. Um, the online, I played a few matches online, I'm not much of an online player, but I've got to say, it ran pretty smooth. Um, not as laggy or glitchy as some online games that I've played in terms of racing. Um, the music was fun, it was, you know, it was kind of like energetic, it was rocky, it was, you know, it kind of had elements of Motorstorm, just it didn't fail. It it didn't seem like they had any licensed music though, unfortunately. So um, that's a downfall, considering when games like Motorstorm obviously had stuff like Breed from Nirvana. Um, the visuals were gorgeous. Like it looked really, really good. Um, I'd probably say it's got plenty of replay value. Uh, one thing I liked is there's plenty of customization options. So you can, you know, you can change the way your racer looks, you can change your vehicles. One of the vehicles looked like Conander's motorbike from Akira, which to me is fantastic considering that's probably one of my favourite motorbike designs of all time. Um, but I did have some bad points such as the lack of race, the real lack of race tracks because after a while the same tracks do get a little bit boring and repetitive. Um, the lack of real modes, but I mean... To be fair, I think when you have a racing game, you do need to have a good amount of tracks, which is a really big downfall for me. Um, it is a fun game, so I'll probably give it a 7 out of 10. Um, I said that online ran smoothly, and it was a fun game in general. So, yeah, uh, thanks to the Codemasters for providing the hobby, and um, be sure to stay tuned for another Mac Media Presents review soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.